Kent Smiles with Control Trends. I'm here at RealCon 2016. I'm with Todd Rodemaker. Whoa! Visual back then. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Work, work, tech, work, work, tech, work. Hey, Eric Stromquist at the RealCon Mibicon product showcase. Hey, I'd like for you to have one of these. Thank you. And this one's for you. Oh. And this one's for you. And there's so many of them, I can't get them all together. I'm here with Hepta Systems, Jason and Tavis, and I tell you what, man, you guys are like, if you were in the military, you'd be the most decorated guys around. You guys win a lot of awards. So for our viewers out there who might not know, Jason, tell us a little bit about Hepta Systems. Uh, Hepta Systems is a master systems integrator. Uh, we are North American, so we're in Michigan, uh, North Carolina, Seattle, Canada. Um, and we integrate a total facility from the network standpoint, as well as every system into a single platform. Uh, so it's lighting, HVAC, electrical, elevators, um, access control, cameras, all from a single pane of glass. We well, use a term that uh, I think really bear some scrutiny, master systems integrators, because I think you know one of the things we're seeing change is a lot of people can integrate like the HVAC and have been doing that for years. What's the difference between, a, if, if you're talking to an owner and an owner says, what's the difference between this integrator and that integrator, you guys say you're a master systems integrator, what does that mean? I think uh, truthfully it's, it's a master system integrator knows all technologies. You can throw us at an elevator system and we can integrate that. You throw us at any lighting system and we integrate it. Um, we don't have to rely on the end user or the, the other vendors to, to help us through it. Uh, we, we fight through it. We're the, the ninjas of the buildings. It's the, it's the knowledge of the networks and the building structure of how all these systems connect together, not just individual pieces of the building. Yeah, just I can attest to this firsthand because I could not get logged into my Facebook and Twitter account today, and Tavis hooked me right up. So uh, these guys know what they're talking about. Yeah. So uh, what are you guys seeing at the conference? What technologies are you seeing that impresses you, and, um, and how's that going to play with what you guys do? Seeing a lot of uh, analytics play into reviewing analytics and network structure. Um, but like you said, with the master system, master system integrator, there's not a lot that's tying it all together under one platform or one interface. So we still see some need for that, uh, but lots of analytics and future items there. Yeah. Cool. And, and I think people are still looking for that, uh, that magic bullet to integrate everything. It, it's here, people are doing it. There's case studies day in, day out of, of buildings being a single platform, so we need to keep moving forward in that direction. So, and I think what makes that important, you guys tell me if you concur or not, but what I'm hearing here from a real estate owner's perspective is by having it in one platform, you can really have the opportunity to bring the analytics in and cre increase operational efficiency, as well as what these guys are concerned about is the user experience, right? Making the space more comfortable, more healthy. That's definitely it. And as the end users have to operate systems, they don't have to be jumping from a Lutron system or, or anything like that. And all of the systems are now sharing data back and forth with full read-write capabilities, making it a, a better place for people, people to work and, and operate a facility. Very, very cool. Well, you know, I'm an older guy, so I'm attracted by bright, shiny objects. Look at that one over there. No, but look at, <laughs> look, I mean, what's all this about? You guys, uh, what's, what's this? Uh, well, this is our uh, platform and and uh, basically the front end for, for a million square foot facility. Cool. Can you can you do a deep dive into yeah, this? Yeah, definitely. Roll it. Roll it. So what we have here is we have our integrated facility. Um, everything from electrical data to gas detection to data centers, generators, chillers, fire alarm. And also one of the items that we have here is it's called a lean summary. So it's uh, the web website where we pull it from is e2iintel.net. And what it does is we connect to the power ISO and we're able to give the facility a la live carbon emission uh, rating. So that's kind of kind of neat. Uh, we can take a deeper dive into the electrical data. Um, we can go back home and then also take a dive into the floor plan. So. How we always design the systems is from the dashboard, we give the user a little bit of data, and then we keep giving them more and more data as we dive into the system. So from here, uh, we have some data down here that tells us what our A side electrical and B side is. So this floor here is divided into two sides. Uh, we also have our lighting control, so we can enable a layer 
to show us the lighting statuses and by all means everything that I'm showing here is as well read and write capable from the single platform. Uh, we can also do an overlay of the AHUs that are supplying this floor and then we can turn those layers off and then take a deeper dive into the zone control. So one of the um, hurdles that we had to overcome at this facility was the owner of the facility wanted a Nest thermostat in his office. So we had to write software drivers in order for the Nest to communicate to the Johnson Controls VAV box. So essentially what we're showing here is a Nest thermostat controlling a JCI uh, backnet box. And then if we go back to the 10th floor, we can dive back down, dive back down into our electrical data and show a deeper dive into what's going on with all the electrical on that floor, uh, divided into plug load, HVAC load, and everything per side of the facility. And then we can actually dive deeper again into that. But basically, it, it becomes that one-stop shop for a building owner for all their data and all their systems. So I tell you what, man, after seeing this, uh, it occurs to me this is so robust and so rich. And in talking to you guys a little bit, a lot of maybe mechanical or even integrators might be a bit intimidated by you know how to integrate this. But, but you guys sort of work with other integrators and other contractors, right? Yeah, definitely. We provide a full turnkey as well as support for integrators, mechanical contractors, to bring their facilities and customers' facilities to this level. Uh, we have a full engineering team that, that's awaiting more work and, and is willing to help. So it's kind of like, a, you know, behind every great man, they say there's a great woman, although I don't really believe that. But I think, you know, you'd be surprised in this industry how many people that go out and, and have the customer relationship are really relying on people behind the scenes to, to, to make everything happen. And, and, and from working with you guys, I can pretty much know, I know a lot of contractors are probably going to go, I'm not going to bring another contractor onto the job, but you guys pretty much stay invisible behind the scenes. I mean, if you, they say you got a shirt that says Eric's company, you'll put the Eric's company shirt, but you don't even have to do that because you're doing it mainly remotely over the internet, right? Yeah, that's definitely it. We're we're all about helping that and uh, that integrator build their brand, right? Yeah. So we're, we're there to help them move to the next level. I tell you what, Tavis, one of the, the things that we hear over and over from our integrators is finding people that are really talented in terms of doing the engineering and understanding this, and especially at the master systems integration port, it's hard to find them. They're few and far between. And to put it in perspective from a b great business case is hiring those people and keeping those people and then keeping them busy is really, really difficult. So I think one of the things that you guys provide, if you think differently out there, is you don't have to hire all those people because you guys got you and you guys are just a click away, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's exactly it. It's sort of along the same lines. You guys, uh, you know, you guys had the panel shop spelled the Canadian way with two P's, P A N P E, P E, and I guess same sort of thing. I think you know your dad Ted was telling me that, you know, why have one of your best technicians sitting on a bucket, right, spending hours building a panel? You guys are doing enough of these. You got it scaled out where you guys can do this at a very price competitive, uh, uh, a price, and at the same time. You guys are special in integration, so you guys know how to put Jason's in a panel and make it happen, right? That's right. We're, we're following all networking standards within the panel. Uh, we're UL, um, so it, it's definitely giving you a lot better product at the end of the day, too, uh, versus something that's been built in the field or, or on a bucket. Oh, absolutely, and you guys can either uh, have you guys provide the J's, you can provide your own J's, or my favorite choice is buy the J's from me, have them ship it to these guys and install it. Yeah, that's definitely it. You know, it, it's that... That value menu, it's whatever you pick to make your, your combo. So uh, that's really, really cool, guys, man. Jason Tavis, thanks so much. Uh, how do our viewers out there find out more about it? you? got a website? Yeah, definitely, uh, www.heptasystems.com. And um, also look up uh, thepanelshop.com. We uh, provide custom-built panels for uh, all customers' needs. And just understand that panel shop is spelled the Canadian way, so it's S-H-O-P-P-E. Right. Exactly. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.